Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie 10.1.2 tutorials, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use keyframes within your project, basically how to, well, essentially how to adjust your volume through keyframes in iMovie. I made a video two years ago that uh, discussed this in a, by splitting the clip and changing the audio, but I didn't know this option was actually available until somebody in my actual comments of the video told me about this. And uh, all you got to do is honestly, when you got the audio within here, um, go ahead and hold down the option key and click and it'll create that little keyframe just like this. Now you can adjust it and uh, place it wherever you'd like and adjust the entire, entire audio. But if you add another one here, hold the option key again, the ALT option key, click. Now you've added another keyframe. Now between the two keyframes, you can actually adjust the audio just like this. You can make it louder or uh, lower just like this, uh, as you can see. Now if you can't see the audio bar, you can go to settings down here, to, I mean to the far, far right and go to uh, show waveformats. Make sure it's checked and you'll see the waveformats. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this, uh, the keyframes and adjusting the audio levels, volume levels with an actual uh, song. For example, here's a song I have. It's pretty steady and uh, the audio bar being right here, I can actually go ahead and hold the option key, click add a keyframe here and click and add a keyframe here. Now I want the audio to basically decrease as it goes from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. And I'm going to play this example and show you guys here. And as you can see, the audio did get lower from first keyframe to the next. And uh, also keep in mind, if you right click these keyframe, you can delete the keyframe as well if you didn't mean to. But other than that, they are adjustable. If you select it right in between the two keyframes, you can move them just like so. Also, you can select them individually by clicking on one keyframe. You'll notice that it's selected and uh, moving it side. You can also move it up and down to adjust it as well, just like that. And uh, that's the basics of this tutorial, you guys. Uh, be sure to leave in a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later.